Hey there, this is Steve from Stark Web Design and Crushing Marketing. And today in this video, we're going to go through how you can easily create social media images using Canva.com. Canva is a design software or a design suite uh, on the internet at Canva.com uh, that has a free version and a pro version. And you can do a ton out of the free version. I am a pro member because I actually have projects and I do collaboration with others. I also am able to set up brand kits and a content planner uh, using the pro version. The pro version is about $12.95 a month or $120 roughly a year at the time of this recording. Uh, I feel it's worth it just for the stock images that you're able to get. There are hundreds of thousands of stock images, but it's, uh, it's a great software, it's easy to use, it's perfect for people that are creating social media images or uh, images for their websites or videos. Uh, there are a ton of uh, templates in here. So, but today we're gonna focus on social media. So as you come into Canva, you'll see uh, the templates here listed at the top, social media being one of them. So if we click on social media, you're gonna see all these templates inside here that, that uh, allow you to create Instagram posts, Facebook posts. These are all optimized for the desired platform that you're working in, right? And there are, there are things for YouTube, for thumbnails, for TikTok videos, uh, for Instagram reels, there's uh, Pinterest and LinkedIn. Um, you know, again, if you really want to optimize, you can do that here. I tend to use the Instagram post. That's just the square 1080 by 1080 uh, that uh, works on pretty much uh, on most platforms if you're doing images. And that's what we're going to look at today, creating social media images. So if I click this to create a blank template, it's going to open a new window. It's going to give me this black can blank canvas to work inside. All right. Over on the left hand side, we're going to see all the different things that we can use when we're building our uh, social media image. Okay. So they do have templates. So if you wanted to look in templates of, you know, say dog training, you know, we can look and see here. There's going to be some stuff that has. Dogs. So you can start with one of these templates if you like. You just click on it. It drops it in. Now, what you'll notice here, if you're in the free version, uh, you have to, if you hold over here and you see this little uh, crown with pro next to it, that means these are only for pro members. Uh, I believe in the free, you can actually pay per item. You used to be able to. I'm not sure about that. But you can see most of these are paid. All right, this one down here is not. So if we click that one in, you can see this is not a paid version. But what, all you have to do is just click that in any of the elements and you can change them up, move them around, you know, do whatever you want. Uh, you can change the, you know, the, the font if you want to different kinds of fonts. Um, you can do whatever you like here in these, uh, in these templates. So it's kind of cool. A very simple way to get ideas for posts uh, by looking up the templates that they have. And again, a lot of the templates are uh, for the pro version, but there are still quite a few free. You can see this one's free. Um, this one here is free. So there are a bunch of free ones. Okay. All right. So let's just go back here. All right. We have our blank template. So let's say we want to start from blank and go over to photos. And let's just say we want to do a dog uh, related. I have a dog cl a client who owns a um, dog training and boarding facility. So we can look at, at doing a, a social media image here for their business. So I have the dog here and we're going to leave some space to put some uh, branding and some, some typing in here, some font. So if I go, I actually have uh, down here, you can save your logos in the pro version. So I've got some logos here. And we can drop in the dog nest. That's the boarding company that I work with. We can put their logo in here. I can put a, a backdrop on that if I want to make it look to pop a little bit better. So we can go up and click on elements. And here you're going to see all different kinds of shapes and graphics that you can drop in. Again, there's a ton of stuff in the free version, even more in pro. But if I just want to put a box behind that to make it pop, and, and uh, so it's clearly visible. I can just position that backwards, all right? And we can 
adjust that box to fit our logo. Okay. And there we have it. All right, so if we want to put that in the corner, we can do that. I can change the color of that box really easily. Oops. By clicking on the box right here, I can change it up to, say, pink or white or whatever we want to do. We'll just use that white color there. All right, and then if I want to drop in text, I just click on text here. It gives you, you know, you can use your branding kit to change up what these are or just drop in any kind of uh, text that you want. So if I just click text here and then I can drag that up. All right, let's just say dog days of summer sale. Okay, I can change the color of this font up here to whatever I want. I can do pink, I can do orange. You know, we can just leave it black or maybe we do a dark blue. All right, I can change the size of that font by just pulling at the corner, any of the corners. I can make the size change here. I can also change the size by clicking the button here. All right, and as I move this, you're gonna see some of the elements where it shows you kind of an inner box for that. Also, you'll see that line pop up, that pink line, and that tells me that my text is now centered. All right, so that's kind of a cool option there. All right. So that's, that's how you drop in text. Um, if you have, uh, you know, a background that you want to drop in, you can do that. Obviously, that would take away our image. Our image is the background here, but they've got tons of background templates and landscapes and patterns and gradients that you can use. Um, also, if you want to upload your own images. So let's say we want our own dog to be in this photo. We can do that. Drop them in. All right. And then I just click here. All right. Maybe I change this a little bit to put it up in the corner. I can turn it. You know, again, this isn't real fancy here, but you're seeing how easy it is to change elements and, um, and and make edits to this so that you can really create whatever you want inside of, uh, of these templates and inside of um, uh, Canva here. You can also add effects to text. So if we wanted it to have like a glow or um, we wanted to lift the text, lifting is great if you're putting it over you know, say something that kind of contrasts with the background, it'll actually make it pop a little more. All right. You can add a shadow. You can do lots of different things here in effects. All right. Um, you can animate. So where, um, you know, the, the, it comes up and then it becomes, you know, like a GIF. Uh, so that's kind of cool. You can do some different things with that. You can do that with different elements inside here and, and animate them so that they do different things. Um, you can record yourself and do video inside of these items. That's kind of a new feature with Canva recently is being able to do video inside of here. So there's just a lot of cool things you can do. I think you can see the power of Canva and how easy it is to create social media images. So again, there is a free version of Canva. It's great for just starting out. The pro version is pretty inexpensive. It's $12.95 a month uh, if you do monthly. If you do the annual, I believe it's $9.99 a month, uh, you know, but paid annually, it's like $120, bucks, right? Uh, but it is a great, great tool for your social media images or really for anything you're doing where you're needing to create images or videos uh, for online content. So I hope you got some value out of the video today. If you did, please like, comment, and share. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.